Welcome back to more Risk of Rain 2 gameplay. Today we're looking at the Artificer, a high burst damage survivor. Uh, this is one of the later ones to unlock because it costs 10 lunar coins to do so. Uh, once you do have 10 coins, you need to enter a blue portal once you've charged the teleporter. Now, you can either wait for one to appear randomly, or you can encourage one to appear by spending another lunar coin at a particular lunar stone that you sometimes find. Uh, once you enter the bazaar, you go over to the absolute unit over here and spend the coins. And now you have achieved the pause challenge, and the Artificer character is unlocked. Right, let's get going on the Titanic Plains. So, this character is very blunt, really. It's all about the magical attacks. Ranged attacks like this. Like this. This. And this. Now, your main weapon... I wouldn't even call it your main weapon, because you can shoot four times and it has to recharge. Although each individual won't recharge. So you can't just like hold your finger on the button and expect it to just keep on firing, because it'll just come to a bit of a grinding halt if you do that. So you really have to use everything in a really good mixture, like, just like any other character really, but in this case you, you really do have to be a bit more thoughtful about which attacks you use when. This, uh, the, the, this attack here is a stun attack. It's, it's, it's a good, it gives, a, gives good damage anyway, but also is a particularly useful for stunning. Now, this character is said to be good against large groups and bosses particularly. But I'm not, I haven't so far, I haven't really felt hugely comfortable with her, I mean, mainly because, um, because it is so focused on these magical ranged attacks, you don't get any way of dodging. Um, you don't have any kind of like shield action or any weird equipment that can help you remotely like uh, mines and stuff like the engineer's got. It really is just shooting a lot. And so it is probably wise that it is lot, um, one of the later characters. Because it is quite specialist I guess. I'm sure it's, it doesn't seem to be my favourite way of playing it so far. Um, that's a speed up. That's the yeah. Let's get the let's get the banner. Right, there's lots of bloody hell. There's lots of chests over here. There we go. Let's clean up this region. Oh, oh. ah yes, good old crowbar. I really want to try stacking a lot of crowbars at some point. I reckon that will give you an incredibly good advantage. Um, especially with this character, maybe? I don't know. I, oh, hang on, I need to just actually start killing things. So I think the flamethrower is actually the, the secret um, weapon in this arsenal. Uh, mainly because the recharge time is only 5 seconds, uh, which is actually very generous. I and mean, you'll find that you'll need to use it a lot to supplement, well, this weapon, really. I'd e even be tempted, really, like, um, psychologically, I'd, I'd like to put that the R, the, the R attack, the flamethrower, on the right mouse button. To make it to you know, like promote it in my mind a bit more, because R oh, requires a bit of a reach with your finger. It feels like one I'm going to be using. I don't know though, because the um, the stun attack is, yeah, that, that's that is a fairly important one as well. It's only the real shift one that you don't use that often, I don't think. But look, I think if they walk into it, they freeze. There we go. Which can do astonishing amounts of damage. Right, did I open that chest over there? I think I did. Flame throw. You can see how this would be good against large groups. I haven't really come up against any yet because I've been um, piddling around to the um, level one. I think I got that chest. It's always hard to tell from a distance. I must have done, because surely I had a bloody war thing next to it. Oh no, I think it's just a really expensive chest, so I didn't open it. Yes, here we go. <gasps> I've got an extra life. Holy shit. Excellent. That's quite rare. The best I've ever done in this game, I managed to get two extra lives stacked up, which was rather tasty. I got to level 9, or stage 9, or whatever. That was... that was nice. Oh, and also the um, the basic teddy as well. This is one of the first... Uh, the teddy seems to be one of the first ones you actually unlock. Ah, uh, yeah, teleporter. Now with added particles to make it more obvious where it is. There's a 3D printer over there. I'm not going to bother with that. I rarely bother, especially when I've got so few items in the first place. Definitely seems to be like a, a very stage 3 thing, that. Uh, is there any more? I think th I think there's quite a bit of stuff that I haven't actually collected yet. There's no way... For, another thing, there's no way... For, there's, because there's no dodge, there's also no speed up either. It's um, Yeah, it's, it takes a while to get around the map with this one. Doing. Oh, into the crowbar. I'll take it. 
No, just, we'll get this. And I think that's probably, oh my god, there's quite a few lads suddenly. Walk into my thing. Oh, they're, they're, they are kind of avoiding it. Oh no, 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 there's someone got, got. There we go. Ha ha! That was a bit pointless, but never mind. Stun. So I think I should really save the um, the primary for a, a bit of sniping action. As you can see, you can one sh once you actually get to a, like, especially after just leveling up, you do get to one shot the basics. There is actually a, a chant shrine up there. But we're only five minutes in, so I think I might actually go for that. I tend to like cap it off at six minutes generally. Well, I am trying to do a few runs where I actually go through the game faster. I'm st I'm still yet to unlock the. Uh, the time chest on level 3, which I've now established you need to do it in 10 minutes, not 20. It's like, oh bloody hell. Milky Chrysalis. Ooh. Oh no, this is not worth. Hang on. Which is, a, which is this one? Q. Oh, it is. I have, had, I have had this before, just not very often. Anyway, let's actually start killing things. And one thing that can take you a bit by surprise at first with these ice things is you've got to remember to aim it at the ground. If you aim it, uh, like, just at sky, it just refuses to work. Right, okay, now is the time. Let's actually stay here for a bit. Now is the time. Ah, oh, this is too far away. This is, it's really... You need to be close to things. Sniping ain't great with this. So you've got these, but they, so, they, mm, they run out so quick. There's a bit more cash over there, but let's like, let's fight the boss. So this is going to be about trying to fight, kill it as quickly as possible. It's going to be the stone tide. Oh, it's not. It's the Beetle Queen. Just quickly gets stuck in because there's there's no tact, strategic cleverness we can do. Just just kill it. Get. Yeah. Oh, I can fly. No, I can't. I flew out ages ago. <laughs> Forgot about that. Now I can use it again. Ah! Out of range of everything. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> I am the flying artificer. I am Daedalus, king of the sky, or something. I don't know what that means. Leave me alone. You're trying to make things dramatic. Not that they were already not dramatic, but... Right, let's kill. Kill everything. I, I actually hurt it quite a lot. I'm, I'm getting overconfident. It's very easy to get overconfident with this. Because I'm soaking up quite a lot of damage, aren't I? I'll stun things. There we go. Oh, Luna Coin! If I've done nothing else in this run, and I, and I have done nothing else, I will have collected another Luna Coin. Well, I'm, not, not anything I really want to spend them on anymore. I don't really like the Luna Coin <laughs> items when you actually go to the bazaar. I, mean, I think this character is the main reason to collect them. And once you've collected 10 or 11, if you want to shortcut it a bit. Um, well, yeah, I just don't like the, the items. I mean, this, this, they often just like have the, the penalties of the the moon the moon items are just too high. Often is that it? Have we done it? We have. I'm, I'm running around fruitlessly at the moment. Let's just let's just fly out of here. Oh God, I'm I'm going to die. Hang on. Bloody hell. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so it's hard not to take damage because you you're not very fast. You can't dodge things, and yeah, you don't have any shieldy, defensey type stuff. Have I ever been up here before? I've never seen the top of that bit. I don't think. No, maybe I have. Yeah, so not my favourite one. Now I think that's there's a lunar there's a lunar stone there. I think that'll activate the blue portal. I've, I've done that. I've gone up there once. I, I was actually, I think if I, had, I actually had the fly titan, which I have now. Um, to actually go up there and get it. And I think that's the one that just like him activate the blue portal. But and there's also one on level one sometimes. It's not always there. That's the thing with these things. They're not always there. You never quite know what's going on. Oh, hello. These aren't nearly as tough as I th originally thought when I first played it. They go down quite easily. Even the um. Even the big ones, if you get like a, um, a swarm of many and with some particularly big lads, even they're not particularly that tough. I think the wisp, the big wisps that fire the green balls at you, if you get a swarm of those, that will cook you in seconds if you're not careful. I still haven't actually got any cash. 
Now, this flight thing, I may actually get rid of this at some point. Oh, God, I thought it was far enough away to avoid that. Now I think I've got enough cash for the chest. <laughs> Missed. Started flamethrowing it instead. Wake of vultures. Temporarily steal the, um, the power of slain elites. Look, I've already got two red items. Blimey. See what I mean? This is uh, If I actually said it in this video. Um, I am collecting a lot more rare items these days. It does make you stronger quicker, which is, I guess, how you play the game, really. Right, anyway. There. <laughs> Just so I don't actually take any fall damage. Oh, we've got 12 qu Oh, God. Oh, 12 quid. Oh, I'm no longer one-shotting. Oh, kind of am. It, it takes some um, damage after the fact. Oh, I didn't get him. Get got. Oh, I think he's wiggling around in some... Oh, there we go. In some crack. Still haven't quite got enough cash. Trees. They don't know I'm up here. <laughs> Get got. There we go. Now we've got the cash. Let's see what you are. More armor piercing. Oh, it's only the first ones I've got. Oh, it's the crowbar I've got, isn't it? Oh, hello. <laughs> it's got a face full of teddy bear. Oh, hello. You appeared out of nowhere. Get got. Oh, I'm... oh yes, there we are. Yes, I am in range. Just about. So I haven't quite got the feel for this character yet, you may have noticed. Um, I still quite can't don't activate the right things at the right times, necessarily. Just trying to keep four different sim well, not similar weapons, four, four, we four attack weapons in mind at once. It's a bit different to the other characters, but then all the characters are very different. It's I do like... All, I actually like all the characters. They're, they've done a very good job coming up with uh, diff, different characters. There's, there's still more to come, apparently, I think, um, on the um, on the selection screen. It looks like there's future content of about another four characters, maybe. Ice. Flamethrower. Come on. Flamethrower. Oh, yeah, got iced and fired. It's a song of ice and fire. Right, let's um, tootle on around here. Well, those are... Are those portal teleporter particles? I don't think they were. And, oh, I think it might be on the other side of that wall, or the dam. Right. So okay. So the, that's where that's where the teleporter will be. Yes. Okay. Let's go and find some more chests before we go f onwards. Just realised I'm still continuing my run of videos where I end up filming this bloody wetland swamp. Um, Apart from the stream that we did, I don't think I've actually... I still don't think I've managed to capture the aqueduct on the camera. Which is by far my favourite compared to this. This is just kind of bilgy green looking. Oh, there's a lot of them up there. Oh, now there isn't. I can't get up there. I need to go around. Oh, I'm fannying now. Oh, actually, uh, fly. I can fly. I can fly! Here we go. Oh, it's one of those things. I wonder how much they cost these days. Right, 355. That's doable. Let's, let's get that. You don't see those very often. I think that gives you lore. If I remember correctly. Now, 3D printer's giving out... Well, not giving out, but um, gasoline. I may actually go for that, because I haven't actually got gasoline yet. I was giving it my bloody defense teddy. Mm. Well, I do kind of like want this because this will be very good for this character, I think. Right now, I should have got food. Gym. No, I haven't. Things attack me. Actually, not you. <laughs> bloody hell. Actually, you're you're an elite. Quick, get rid, get rid, get rid. There we go. Ha. Right now, I've got plenty. Right, let's repair the crash satellite thing. You pick an environmental log, wetland aspects. There we go. Very expensive, those things. Chance to bleed enemies. I think it's probably now time to go um, to the thingamabob. The teleporter. Ow! Do, do, do. And where is that? Where is that ball thing? It's up one of these, isn't it? Oh, it's over there. I think in the interest of science and my faulty memory. 
I am... Oh, I've got no money. I am going to actually go up there and unlock it. Um, just to sort of like double check the whole portal thing. I feel this is about this character's unlocking, so it, feel, it would be good to actually do that. Oh, now, which one was it again? Oh, no. Hang on. Let's just start flying. And where was it? There it is. Oh, well, I'm going to make this. Better bloody do. A blue orb appears. Yes. Ow! Tits. Ow! It blew me to a nearby chest. So yes, that's the the blue orb. I think that's... I haven't, really, I haven't got the money. I think that's the one that will allow you to go to, through the thing. So that's good. So we'll try and actually defeat the boss. <laughs> we'll try to bother. We'll try our best. Might get rid of all these lads. Oh, more armor piercing stuff. Right, let's go. Was that the dam? No, that wasn't the dam. That was um, that's another bit of the level. I'm hurting quite a bit. I'm just going to run for it. Oh, I don't think it was, it's not over there, is it? It's um, right on the other side. Is that a... Um, no, it's not. thought that might be a buried drone. Nothing down there for once, by the looks of it. There's usually something down there. Sometimes you spawn there. Right, let's go. I think we're in the right sort of area now. I think I just need to work my way into the left somewhere. I am not collecting that. The shrine of the Prickery. The shrine of the Mountains. That'll spawn extra bossage. We don't want that. Oh, was it? I don't think this is it. I've forgotten where it was now from earlier. No, there's no teleporter here, is there? Just have a quick check to see if there's anything. Well, it looks like there's a bit, there's a little bit of trove down there, but like a, I think it might have been a drone, but I'm not going to bother. Oh, that did not protect me at all. God, there's loads of them now. Loads of, loads of them stomping about the place. Come on, if I guess if if I fanny around anymore, it's going to get really late. Have you? Cash and cash. Once more, I wasn't paying attention to my geography earlier on. I think this is it. I think it's down here. Yes, there you can see it. I think it's unfortunate there's also a bad lad there guarding it. Now it's only one of you. I thought it was, was a leap for a second. Nope. Right. I'm going to get my wings out. Oh, it's a stone titan. Who's there? Oh, it's going to be quite tricky. Missed him. Right, there, behind this tiny, tiny rock. Oh dear. This is about as good protection as we've got. Bloody hell. Right. Wow, this is, this is absolutely roasting him. Bloody hell. There, it's killed him. Unfortunately, I just got absolutely blasted by those lads, I think. Sorry, I forgot. I forgot I got an extra life. I won't have it for long, though. Those are really hurting me. I do feel incredibly... F Ow! I do feel, incre feel incredibly fragile with this character. Roast you. Oh, he's tough. Get, get you, you little twat. Die! There we go. He let roast him! Oh, he got, he got out. Right, let's get rid of you. I think I'm actually out of the zone now, aren't I? I need to get back in. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, did I just do that? <laughs> oh, God, there's so many things. The, these sky things. Right, get got. And you. There we go. And you. Come on, I don't want to die again. Another elite in the sky. Oh, I get hurt so easily as this character. I really should hide. Maybe that's it. Maybe you just have to learn to hide a bit more often. I don't know. I'm getting out of here. Although, let's have a look at the blue portal. There it is. 
There we go. I'm not going in there. Oh, am I? No. Yes. Well, we've seen this at the start of the video. But... Good to actually do it properly on camera. I may actually buy an item. Let's have a look. Oh, maybe I can visit my own um, prison. And uh, there's the big lad. That's where I was. That was me. But not for much longer. Anyway, let's see what we can do over. How many coins do you need? Oh, this is the, this is the items thing, not the um. Okay, let's let's have a go with this because I, I did this once, and it was all right. Oh no, it's not letting me do this one. I think you have to give more of a variety, of, more specific types of item. Maybe it's only like um. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what exactly. Ah, who cares? I can do that again. Unfortunately, I've just got two of those now. So it's not great. Just going to spend some moon coins. Or lunar coins. Whatever. I hate these things so much. I get you. Corpse Bloom. Double your healing, but is applied over time. Hmm. That's probably going to kill me. Like every other thing I pick up from that. Right, let's get on to the ice level. Rally Point Delta, or whatever the hell it's called. I spent so much time fiddling around in there, like it's, it's now almost 22 minutes in. This will finish me off, this level. <laughs> I said optimistically. Because I still haven't found a way of just, like, retaining health with this character. Just... I end up just being a, my own bullet sponge. Also, I just don't feel that strong against certain... I mean, look, I'm only half dead already. Let's actually use my more powerful thing. I really should use a flamethrower more often. As, as, because it's on the um, because it's on the uh, R button, it just... My mind doesn't immediately go to it yet. So I think I need a bit more practice just to actually get that sorted. Also, I'm just not very strong at the moment. Look at this. I also got rid of so many of my items, which was a big mistake. I need to get out of here. Ah, I'm getting taken down by just regular enemies. This is embarrassing. I'm just not strong. Go. No. This is going to be such a really embarrassingly minor death. My healing. Well, that corpse bloom isn't really helping, is it? Bloody thing. I can hear things crunching around the place. Stun you! Yeah. It's just an individual. I'm weak against individual enemies. Large groups, I can just like toast the hell out of everything, but. Yeah. We should get an item. Finally get an item. I just spunked all my items away. Just in the, in the, in the name of science. You've got to be careful also not to abort your flamethrower early, which is very easy to do just by clicking the attack. I think you, you probably need to use your stun quite a bit, although you know, the stun's got quite a brutal cooldown. I think five seconds for a stun attack is, is feels quite slow, whereas the flamethrower one, the five seconds feels generous. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm not going to die. I'm fine. God, die! Frick. There we go. I need to run. Run! Run! Oh my god, there's everything could try and attack me at once! Yeah. This character is hard, and it's rightly locked quite near the end of stuff. I don't know. Well, that's the Artificer. Not my favourite character by any means. But um, interesting to try if you if you just like um, getting stuck in and attacking things. I just haven't quite worked out the defence of this character yet, so I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. We've only got one more character to unlock. I wonder if I'll ever do that. And that'll require me getting quite a long way again in the game. The last time I got to level, I got stage 9 and no bloody exit portal appeared. So, I don't know. It's just going to have to require me playing it a lot more. Uh, which is fine, because this is still a great game. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, do check out the rest of the Risk of Rain 2 playlist. Um, I've um, there's got a Let's Play, uh, Let's Plays of um, pretty much every character, apart from the, um, the, um, the last one, the Mercenary or whatever. 
Uh, so yeah, check that out. Uh, do subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. Um, and I'll see you next time.